I have had food poisoning. I did record a little video, as you can see. Oof, day three, I've just woken up with the biggest stomach ache, like aching, and also just feeling really, really sick. I think I must have eaten something last night, and oh, I just really hope it goes away in a few hours, so I don't have to spay the, spend the spay, spend the day in bed, but it's not looking good. So yeah, I wasn't feeling very, very well, but I'm feeling a little bit better now, although a little bit, still feeling a bit nauseous. I do feel a lot better than I was the past few days. So yeah, it's time to go make the most of my last day in Goa. So the first thing we're doing today is we are stopping off to get cashew nuts. In Indian or in Gujarati, we actually call them gaju, that is the Indian word for cashew nuts. Thanks for joining me, I hope you enjoyed this shot. So uh, yeah, let's go and have a look. Hello, guys, so we are at Gujarati Mall. Um, Okay, so we were on our way to Agorada Fort, but the uh, taxi driver just drove past this place, which does dolphin tours. I didn't know that you could see dolphins in Goa, so we've just stopped off. It's an only an hour tour, so we have time. We're gonna jump on a boat and see if we can find some dolphins. Let's do it! Add I want to answer afterwards. I want to answer. Okay. Yeah, okay. No. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yay, thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Anika, what's your I'm name? Dominic. Dominic, nice yeah. to meet you. Too late now. <laughs> <laughs> Dominic's a little joker. All right, got our tickets. Now it's time to head on to the boat. Now which one? Alright guys, so just got to Aguada Fort. Aguada actually means watering place in Portuguese and this fort was actually built in 1612. The upper part uh, was basically a watering point for the ships whereas the lower part it just acted as a safe place for the ships to dock. So yeah, let's go have a look inside. They have this little market on the side street. Really wanted to get a new scarf, so I managed to find this yellow one. They don't have a yellow coloured scarf. It's nice to also give these guys some business too. Imagine how many things they'd have to sell to make a profit on the side of the street here. Alright guys, so just came back, had a little quick shower, bite to eat and got changed and now we are back out again. So our last evening in Goa, um, was in for the past two nights feeling ill as ever but hopefully tonight will be one to remember. So yeah, let's go, let's go! Smile! <laughs> 
rusty light. <laughs> oh my god, we've just seen a snake in the middle of the road. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, let's just go. Can we go around it? Ooh. All right, so we just got to Panjim. Well, actually, the English say Panjim, the Portuguese say Panaji, and the Indians say Panaji. So, yeah, we've just got to this place called Fisherman's Wharf. We're gonna come here, have some dinner. It looks really cute. This is an old Portuguese house. Look so, how nice it is inside. You can hear some live music as well. Let's go inside. Fish. Panjim. I think this is Mala and it's a really really old street filled with Portuguese buildings. It's so cool. Look at this. I'm gonna take you guys to go out in a little bit. It's amazing. Alright, so continuing on with our little walk in Panjim. We've just walked past this incredible temple. It's so colourful. Take a look at this. recommend um, coming down to Panjim maybe in the daytime and just roaming the streets having a look at all these buildings it's really really pretty I do wish we had time to come down in the day Hi, all right so just got back from our last evening in Goa Panjim was really really nice I definitely recommend going down there, having a little wonder. Fisherman's Wharf, amazing food. What a great few days in Goa. Despite the food poisoning, we managed to make it up today with a whole bunch of adventures. Hope you guys enjoyed my Goa vlogs. Please be sure to follow me on all social media at Literally Amiga. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!